Hi, I'm Roberta DiBiase from Children's National Medical Center. I'm the Chief of Infectious Diseases here, and I'm here to talk to you about Zika virus infection, which I'm sure you've been hearing about in the news. Zika virus is a mosquito-borne virus that infects humans accidentally when you're bitten by a mosquito. Most people will have no symptoms whatsoever when they have Zika infection. And if you do have symptoms, they're usually pretty mild. A low-grade fever, a rash, maybe your eyes will be red, and you may have some achy joints or muscles. But the vast majority of people are not sick enough to require hospitalization, and most completely recover. There are a small number of people who, after they've been infected with Zika virus, can develop paralysis. This is called Guillain-Barre syndrome. It's very rare, and usually people recover from this as well. But what I'm here to tell you about today is that pregnant women, or women that are thinking of becoming pregnant, should know that infection during pregnancy can be harmful to the fetus or the newborn when the mother is infected while she is pregnant. We've noticed an association between Zika virus infection in pregnant women and babies that are born with small heads or small brains. These infants can go on to have developmental problems over time, including problems with walking, talking, their hearing, or their vision. There are two ways that a pregnant woman can be infected with Zika virus that you should be aware of. One is by direct bite of a mosquito that's infected, and that can only occur in an area where there is active Zika virus transmission. At this time, this is primarily South America, many parts of the Caribbean, and Central America. But you can check the CDC website for the specific countries where we know there is transmission ongoing. The second way a pregnant woman can be infected is through sexual activity with an infected partner. We've noticed that there have been women who have not traveled to areas where Zika has been transmitted, but their sexual partners have, and it is possible for transmission to occur that route. So for that reason, you need to be aware of not only where you have traveled, but where your sexual partner has traveled. And if either of you have traveled to that area, it's important to abstain from sexual intercourse for the remainder of the pregnancy or to use condoms. What can you do about this? If you have to go to one of the countries that are affected, you should use all precautions possible, meaning use Environmental Protection Agency approved mosquito repellents, staying indoors as much as possible, using air conditioning or screens so that you minimize the possibility that you can be bitten by a mosquito. But this is often difficult, so the current recommendations are simply not to travel to these areas. So finally, if you have traveled to one of these areas or you're concerned that you've been exposed through one of your partners, please talk to your doctor about this. We here at Children's are ready to help you through our Fetal Medicine Institute, and we can work with your doctors directly.